Hello out there. Today we are going to be talking about doing division using the box method. So I'm going to explain this method using the following example, 346 divided by 6. And the reason why I like to use the box method over the traditional long division algorithm is because it helps us see the different place value groups that we're dividing out when doing division with some larger numbers. So when I'm doing the box method, uh, to set things up, I need to look and see my divisor and sorry, my dividend, which is 346, and see how many different place groups it has to determine how many boxes I'll need. And I can see that I have three different place groups. I have my hundreds place, my tens, and my ones place. So I'm going to go ahead and break 346 up into each of its different place value groups. And when I'm doing that, you can see I'm leaving a little extra space because I may need to do some redistributing or regrouping um, as I go using this box method. So I have 346, and as I'm splitting that up, I'm breaking it up into its different place value groups. I can see I have 300s and 346. I have four tens and 346, and I have six ones and 346. And what I'm doing with 346 is dividing it by 6. So I'm going to put my 6 that I'm dividing out right over here. So as I'm dividing by 6, I'm just going to be looking at one place value group at a time and figuring out, well, how many groups of 6 can I divide out from that place? And I'm going to start out with my largest place, the 100. And I'm going to think to myself, well, how many groups of 6 can I divide out from 3? And another way that I like to think about this is 6 times what? gets me as close to 3 as possible without going over, or 6 times what gets me as close to 3 as possible without going over. And when I'm looking at this problem, I think to myself, well, 6 times 1 is 6, and that's already too much. So just 6 times 0 is as close I can, as I can get um, to dividing groups of 6 from 3. I can't divide any groups of 6 from 3. 3 doesn't have enough. So I can do 6 times 0 equals 0 and subtract that, and I'm left still with 300. So I can't divide any hundreds from my hundreds place because I would need to divide out 6 hundreds, and I only have 3 hundreds. So what I can do with that leftover 3 hundreds is I can redistribute that, break it up, and split my 300s up into 30 tens, because 30 tens is the same as 300. So now instead of just having uh, 300s, I have 30 tens, and I already had four tens, so now I have 34 tens. Now I'm ready to divide. I can see that 34 is definitely more than six, so I can do some dividing from my tens group. So I can, again, think to myself, well, how many groups of 6 can I divide out from 34? Or another way to think about it, again, is 6 times what gets me as close to 34 as possible without going over. So I think about my 6 times facts, and I think to myself, well, 6 times 4 is 24, and that's, that's not enough. 6 times 4 is... 24, and that's not enough, so it's not really that close to 34, so I'm going to keep going. Well, maybe 6 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30, and that's pretty close to 34. Um, but maybe I'm not so familiar with all my 6 facts, so I want to do one more. Um, well, 6 times 6 is 36, and that's too much. I'm over 34, so I'm going to stick with 6 times 5. So I think to myself, 6 times 5 equals 30. Really what I've done here is I've divided out 5 groups of 6 from 34. And when I divide out my groups of 6 from 34, I'm dividing out 5 groups, which is equal to 30 that I'm dividing out from 34. I'm going to go ahead and subtract here to see how many tens I have left after dividing out 5 groups of 6 from 34. And I'm left with four groups of tens. Now with that four groups of tens, I need to go ahead and redistribute that and again break up my four tens into forty ones and now I have forty six ones in my ones place and that, that I am now going to divide. So 
now again, I'm thinking that same sort of thought. I'm thinking 46 divided by 6, or again, the way I like to think about it is 6 times what gets me as close to, well, now I'm dividing 46. So 6 times what gets me as close to 46 as possible without going over 46. So I think to myself, well, I know that 6 times 6 already is 36, which is kind of close, but really not that close to 46. So let's see if I can go one more and get a little closer. So 6 times 7 equals 42, which is pretty close to 46. I wonder if I can get any closer to 46 without going over. So maybe 6 times 8. Well, I know that 6 times 8 is 48, and that's too much. I've gone over 46. So I can divide out 7 groups of 6. So I can divide out 7 groups of 6 from 46. And 7 times 6 is 42. So I just divided out 42 ones from 46. And I'm left with, again, 4. Now, with this last four, there's no other places to redistribute it to just yet. Maybe later on down the road, we'll get into um, dividing with some decimals. But for now, basically what I'm left with is a remainder. I have four left over if I want to just divide into a whole number and have a whole number answered um, with a remainder. And that's my answer. I have 57 with a remainder. Of four, so this top amount here all put together is 57 with the remainder of four, and essentially that's how we use the box method to help us with long division or with larger division numbers. So I hope this helps, and thank you very much.